Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to see that you decided to join me once again for yet another trip to yet another country. We're going to the Caribbean today, so I'm all made up. I'm ready to go to the beach. Oh, well, actually I just came from the beach because it's evening and we're ready to make dinner. So we're going to Barbados in case you hadn't noticed that we're doing the whole thing alphabetically. And to those of you who asked me to uh, make certain dishes, I wrote them down, but I will probably make them either after I finish this, which will take me probably forever, or if I have time to make maybe two videos a week. I don't know at the moment, it's a bit difficult because there's a lot going on, but my plan is to follow your advice and try to make the dishes that you're telling me to do. But just keep in mind that I have a schedule and I'm doing the videos as planned. So back to our recipe today. We're making cuckoo with flying fish. Obviously, um, I'm not at Barbados in the moment and in Madrid, the amount of flying fish is a bit scarce. So all I could find is, was sardines, which will do, I suppose. They don't fly, but hey, they are still silvery. And yeah, let's get to it. So today's dish is built by two separate plates. For once we have the fish with the gravy and on the other side we have the cuckoo, which is basically a cornmeal. So for the cuckoo we need 250 grams of cornmeal. We need 12 okra sliced. Apparently, uh, I don't know what happened, but okra has disappeared from my surroundings, so once again I'm using zucchini or squash. And uh, then we need salt and oil. That's what all we need for the cuckoo. For the gravy and the fish, we will need 300 grams of flying fish or, well, sardines in my case. Oil, once again, salt, pepper, thyme, preferably fresh. Mine is dried from the garden. Pickled bonnet peppers. I have pickled jalapenos. Remi uh, remember to use a bit of the liquid. You can also add a bit of vinegar because we need a slight tang in our sauce. Then one can of uh, peeled tomatoes, approximately eight ounces or 400 grams. One onion sliced, one clove of garlic, or well, two, but one if you have a ginormous one like me. A green and the red bell pepper also sliced. Sugar, one teaspoon, and some stock. You'll also need water. So let's get cooking. So we take a skillet and we pour in some oil. We make the Creole sauce first because it takes a bit longer than the cuckoo. We crush in our garlic, add the onion and the bell pepper. So we let it fry for approximately a minute and then we add the sugar, the thyme, the stock and our peppers. Half a cup of water or half a cup of salt. Now we also add the tomatoes. Here I've seen that you can also use fresh tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. I was thinking about that, but since I already had these one open and I didn't want them to go all green and hairy, I decided to use the canned ones. A bit of salt, the pepper, 
we bring it to a boil and then we reduce the heat to simmer and leave it for about 20 minutes. So 15 minutes have passed, now it's time to add the fish. Now for the fish you have two options, you can either place it into the sauce or you can deep fry it with some batter. I prefer the healthier version and that's why I'm placing it now. We place it and cook it another 10 minutes more or less. So while our sauce is getting ready, we start by making the cuckoo. For the cuckoo, we take our cornmeal and we cover it with water. So we take a casserole or a pot, we pour in some water, and we bring the onion, and the okra or zucchini in my case to a boil and once they boil we remove the water but we do not throw the water away we will need that for the cornmeal later so now that's boiling we remove the water set the vegetables aside and keep the water so now it's time to add the cornmeal here we have our pot here we have our soaked cornmeal. With the water and everything, we place it into the pot. And we use a wooden spoon. And we start stirring it. We also add the water from our vegetables. So in Barbados, this wooden spoon is called a cuckoo. And hence the name for the dish. So what we have to do now is try to avoid to to see lumps, or that the cornmeal forms lumps, we add gradually some water and keep stirring. So you realize that the cuckoo is almost ready when it starts breathing and making weird bubbles. So now it's time to add back our vegetables, our okra and our onion. Mix it. Then you can add a drop of butter or a little bit of olive oil. A bit of salt. Now time to put everything together and time to eat. So as you can see, now our fish is done. And we proceed with the cornmeal. We turn off the heat. And here we have our finished dish, our flying fish with cuckoo. We're ready to eat. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this, re this recipe and I hope you'll make it at home or not. I don't know. Uh, thanks again so much for watching if you're still there. And I guess I'll see you next week with another country and another dish. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe. And don't forget to comment if you have any suggestions or just to engage in a friendly conversation <laughs> well that's it from my side and i'll see you again next week bye